Here's how you can retire and have million, just only five rental property. You guys see this property here? I'm gonna walk through the whole entire detail. What I pay for this property, and what I did to the property, what I'm doing in the backyard. And I want you to think about this. I want you to imagine if we had three sets of these, just three of these property, you'd be rich and wealthy for life. And for the next generation, we bought this property a little over 20 years ago. We paid $106,000 for this property. Back then, I wish I would've had a lot more money, and back then, I wish I knew more about real estate because you know what? I would've bought the whole damn block if I would've knew how real estate is today, okay? That's to show you compound appreciation, you guys. This house is about 800 square feet, two bedroom, one bath, and we put in about $35,000 to basically put new carpet, new paint, right? Update the bathroom a little bit back then, but and since then, we haven't done much to it. And, you know, it looks good, you know? And the renter, we have probably three renters that have been in this house. And basically, this house right here, it's literally, the mortgage is very low. I'm gonna tell you what it is in a minute. This property is zoned single family, and it sits on a 4,400 square foot lot. But what makes this property valuable, you guys, is where the house sits on the lot. It sits more toward the front, and there's a backyard. Even though it's a small lot, most time you need a lot, at least 5,000 square feet. This is only 4,400, but since the house sat more towards the front, it made the backyard very available so you can actually put the ADU in the backyard. If this house would have sat in the middle, it would have killed all opportunity off on doing the backyard with the ADU. The only mortgage we have on this is a line of credit. We have a line of credit on this property for $116,000. The monthly payment on is about 800 bucks a month. And we rent this house out right now for $2,225. You gotta do the math right there, that's the positive cash flow, that's the difference. Now this house is technically free and clear. We just have a line of credit on, we pull the money out to go buy other property, but we only pay 800 bucks, but we also cash flow crazy. We ran out for 22.25. On top of the renter paying 22.25, right, we're making good cash flow in this property. But the key thing on top of the cash flow, all right, is the compound appreciation. We only paid 106 grand for this property back then. Nothing. Today, we can easily sell this for over $600,000. That's literally over $500,000 worth of equity off of one small house because of compound appreciation. There's no way most people can ever save half a million dollars, folks. Half a million, basically just this, this laying around. Most people can't do that. That's why it's hard to save your way to true wealth. And there's only one property. Imagine you had two properties. Imagine you have five properties like this, okay? And what you've done, you just, all you do is rent it out, let the tenant pay it down. Literally, the tenant is paying down the mortgage. And we take the equity and we go buy more house. Now, let me show you the big bonus. We're gonna show you what we did in the backyard, you guys. And this is where the big money is. So when you guys have opportunity in your area to put ADU in the backyard, you gotta take advantage of it because this is free money because the backyard is free. All we gotta do is pay for construction to build the back out. And you're gonna see now in a minute when I show you the back property and what it costs to build this, and you're gonna see the equity on this and the cash flow. Here's the big bonus I promise you guys. Here's the back side of the house. You gotta see the front house over here, obviously. All right? This is where the car's gonna park and also in the garage. The bonus is the backyard was free. You guys see how the house sat more towards the front? and you have this whole backyard. So this backyard was free. You didn't have to pay for it. So that's already a big win. Typically, a piece of land in Seattle, it's gonna cost you probably $100,000, $150,000 to build an ADU. So when you have for free, you're already saving $100,000, $150,000. Now, this is roughly about 1,000 square feet. It's 500 on the main, 500 upstairs. What it cost us to build this right here is about $300,000. I can sell this property today for probably $650,000. Easy. That right there is $350,000 in equity, in equity on this property. And the reason why it's so beautifully, beautifully such a bonus is because the land was free. So let me share with you how we actually funded this DADU. Now see how we call it DADU, Detached ADU. I know in California, you gotta call it ADU. So we actually pay cash to fund this project for construction. We already own the house in the front. We have a HELOC. We use that money to do other things. We didn't want to refinance the house and get more money out because the interest rate on that is like in the threes. We didn't want to mess with that, right? So we left that alone. Now, of course, we have money sitting around, right? At all time because again, one of my big things I will tell you guys is go out there and make a lot of active income. 
Go out there and wholesale. Go out there and flip houses. Do whatever it takes to actually make at least $100,000, $200,000 and more and always have it all ready to go. Because when you never know when you need to find a deal, a fund a you know, detached ADU. So we funded this all cash. So we pay all cash for this property, okay? Now, once the rate go back down, right? We predict that the rate's gonna go back down in the next probably 12 to 18 months, probably somewhere in the mid fours. Now, the front house is roughly about three and a half. If they go back to mid four, we're not gonna have a problem refinancing the whole entire thing, okay? And then just getting a lot of our cash out of this deal. Cause this house right here today is worth at least $650,000. We got 350,000 with the equity in here, right? On top of all 300,000 cash we got in the deal. So we got $650,000 right now in this deal. So we wanna pull some of that money out, but we don't wanna do it right now because the interest rate is a little high. So we don't mind being patient. But when the rates go back down, we're probably gonna refinance this whole thing right, and put a little bit of mortgage on the back, right, we might do something in the front, we might, not sure yet, okay, but for sure we're gonna do something in the back, okay, take some of the money out. But right now we have no mortgage on the back. We're looking to rent this house out right here for about 3,200 bucks, plus or minus, somewhere in that zone. So, think about this, it cost 300 grand to build this, and if we can rent this for 3,000, that's a 1% rule. You cannot find 1% rule, okay? Anywhere, right? Let alone, right, in the expensive market. When I mean 1% rule, meaning if a house is 300,000 and you rent for three grand, that's a 1% rule. Very rare you ever find a home in a very expensive area where you can basically rent the 1% rule. Buy a house 300, rent it for three grand. Very rare that ever happened. This is how we are hacking the high interest rate. This is how we are hacking buy a home in an expensive area by doing this kind of stuff. But you gotta understand where to find these type of property, what type of property to look for, right? What type of zone to look for. And this is what we actually teach in the Springboard Mentorship Program. But this property here, we're gonna get 3,200 bucks. Plus the front, we're already making about what? The 2222 minus 800, that's about probably 1400 bucks somewhere, 13, 1400. So together, right? This is almost, basically almost five grand a month just off this two property. Let alone, we got basically 500 grand equity in the front. We got 350 in the back. That's 850,000 with the equity off of two house. I want you to think about this. I said earlier, imagine you had five of these, five sets, five. If you have five of these property, that means you have 10 property, folks, 10. If you can have that, you can be rich and wealthy forever, and you can change your family financial legacy for life. Now you can see why I'm so passionate about actually owning real estate. It is the opportunity, you guys, to actually create passive income every month, opportunity to have tax write-off, opportunity to get basically a tenant to pay down your mortgage, and the opportunity called compound appreciation. This property is worth 650. 10 years from now, even sooner in this area, it's probably seven years, but in 10 years, this 650 will turn into basically 1.3 million. That's not including the house in the front, it's worth 600, it's gonna turn into 1.2 million. I mean, that's literally like $2.5 million in the next seven to 10 years. And the renter is paying it off. This is why I keep saying owning real estate is so powerful. It's the only vehicle that you have so much great leverage that when someone else pay for your mortgage, you can have the write-off, you got the cash flow, you got the compound appreciation. Where can you save this kind of money, folks? You can't. This is why I'm gonna say this. Do not wait to invest in real estate. Invest in real estate now and then wait. This is what I teach a lot of people how to do, folks, on how to actually find the right type of property in the right location, in the right neighborhood, with the right layout, where you can add value, force value, and create these kind of, basically, uh, setup. Now, if y'all wanna learn how to do this, man, hit me up, I'm happy to help you guys, okay? But do not wait. Right now, reaching rate might be a little high, but right now, the price right now is still very, very cheap, in my opinion. Because the moment the rates start to go down slowly, you're gonna get a lot more buyer coming off the fence, and they're gonna start creating a frenzy, and you're gonna start seeing multiple offer on houses again. If this repeats itself again, like it was in the last three decades I've been in, that means the price is gonna start having a massive growth all over again. And so you don't wanna buy a property when you can compete. Again, two, three, four, five buyer, 10 buyer, and pay 50, 100 grand over asking price. It's silly. Buy the property today with less competition. Get a good price on it. 
And as long as it cash flow, you can always refinance it 12 months, 18 months from now, and you have the best of both worlds. So don't wait to invest. Invest now and then wait. That's a wrap for this video. Tell me what you like about this. Tell me what you love about this. Tell me you want to learn more about this. I'm happy to help you guys, okay? So comment below. Other than that, make sure you guys subscribe. We're up to 130,000 subscribers. Let's go!